Well, good morning. I'm Heather Stricker. And I'm Tina Jennings. Now, whether it was a fond family memory or maybe when you spent some quality time with your honey, oh. many of us have taken a trip to a gorgeous national park. And today we celebrate those that make it possible. That is because the National Park Services is turning 100. Ooh. You guys, Arizona Highways Magazine is showing us what we are thankful for. Robert Steve joins us with a sneak peek. Good Robert. Morning. It's so great to have you back. This it's, is a big deal. Yeah, you know, 100, you know, yeah. who makes it to 100, right? I, well. you know, George Burns, I think, did, right? But, <laughs> right. And, I, and so did the National Park Service. Yeah. And so when we're talking about the National Park Service, it's the governing agency that oversees a lot of different properties. You know about national parks, also national monuments, national recreation areas, national historic sites. So there's a lot of things that fall under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the National Park Service oversees 22 different properties in, in our state. So that's that's what's featured in the issue. So we're getting a look at several uh, different mm -hmm. monuments and parks around Arizona. Right. So let's start with the cover. What are we featuring there? Well, the cover is the Grand Canyon. You know, it's, it's not just the greatest park in our state. It's the greatest park in the world, yeah. I would say. Yeah. Um, and so the, the shot that, that's on our cover is a place called Toro Weep Overlook, which is, you know, a pretty rugged area to get to. But uh, uh, once you get there, you get some of these spectacular views. And, and that's there what it you is see. Right and that, there. of course, is the uh, Colorado River that you see down there in the bottom. Of that's the an awesome shot. Yeah, you know, it's a terrific shot. A guy named Nick Berzenko shot that. Um, it's always kind of cool when you get a, a new new photographer on the cover, and Nick hadn't been there for a while, so that's pretty cool. So. Oh, very nice. And then we get a rainbow. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this is called Spider Rock, and this is up in Canyon de Chelly uh, National Monument, which is sort of tucked inside the Navajo Nation up in uh, the northern part of Arizona. So another national monument that uh, features a canyon-like uh, background there, and it's a uh, it's a great spot to go. It's easy to get to. You can, like the Grand Canyon, you can just drive up. It's yeah. paved roads, and mm -hmm. it's easy to get to. Awesome. So we're going to tell you a secret. So yesterday, <laughs> I was going to totally yeah, call you Yeah, were you going to yeah. say this? So yesterday, we <laughs> promoted that you were going to be on today, yeah. and our producer wrote for me to read the word hoodoo, and I was like, did you make this word up? <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. This isn't real. This isn't my real word. Don't make me say something. So we Googled it to make sure I wasn't just. And what would you find out? That it's a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a, it's a, it's, there it is. There's it's a great that, definition. There's that thing, hoodoo. Uh, and, <laughs> and, you know, you maybe even know more about the, the geology of a hoodoo, but to me it's sort of this stack of rocks that, yeah. that you find. And, and this is uh, down in the southeastern part of the state, not, not too far from here, down in Chiricahua National Monument, which is a great, great park that not a lot of people go to. That's actually in the background there. It's called Cochise Head. If you look beyond the hoodoos, it looks as if there's a head lying down and there's the oh, big yeah. nose. Oh, yeah. And um, the, the eyelashes, which you can't make out probably from here, is actually a, like a 100-foot tall ponderosa pine. So, oh, my um, gosh. So this is the land of Cochise and Geronimo down there in the Chiricahua. So Very another great cool. spot to go. Absolutely. Now, this next photo is gorgeous. We're looking over Lake Mead National Recreation Area. Yeah, this is, this yeah. is pretty. So we got to pull that one up. Yeah. Look at that. Oh. But I mean, I really don't even have to say anything, do I? I just like, really just sit and look at that. But Lake Mead, uh, created by the Hoover Dam um, up in the, the northwestern part of our state on the border of Nevada. And uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful lake up there that's, that's fed by the Colorado River and um, a lot of different kinds of activities you can do up there too, like boating and skiing and all that sort that's of thing. That's like a postcard that you get when you come here and yeah. you want to send it to somebody in the snow. <laughs> yeah, and you know, yeah. again, that's the one you throw at people who think there's no water in our, right. in our neck of the woods. So. Yeah, but we also have a, a painted desert. Yeah, this is another great spot. This is a, a Petrified Forest National Park, and then what you see behind it is, is what's known as the Painted Desert. It's actually one of the oldest national parks in the country, and um, it's, it's from the uh, Triassic period. Um, can't exactly tell you how, how petrified wood was formed, but those logs right there are very, very old, and uh, of course they turned to rock. And another park that's uh, pretty easy to get to, there's a, a scenic road that drives right through the park, and as you go, there's little short trails you can take. We can actually walk out uh, among the rocks. So it's pretty. It cool. almost didn't even look real, did it? No. It's, it's incredible. And what I'm loving too is that all of these are so different. Yes. Even though they're all national parks here in Arizona, I mean, we've had the beautiful water, right. we've had the petrified forest, and now we actually have a shot of gorgeous wildflowers as well. Yeah, this is a really cool spot called Walnut Canyon National Monument. It's near Flagstaff, and. Uh, those are ancient, ancient ruins that were built into the cliffs down there, and there's a really cool, fairly easy trail, although about 200 steps you have to take to go down to it, but once you get down there, there's a trail that winds around this, this giant rock formation, and you can actually walk into these old ruins 
and uh, see what life was like there. And, and then the canyon itself, Walnut Canyon, is really spectacular too. And, and, and the other nice thing about it, especially this time of year, to, to your point, was that they're all over the state, so much cooler up there. So when yeah. we're all baking in the desert, Flagstaff is significantly cooler, and especially down in Walnut Canyon. Now, are these easier to get to because they're kind of underneath that National Park Service yes. thing? They kind of make it easier for Absolutely. everyday Joes like myself. Yeah, great question. And you know, one of the things that that's important for readers to keep and viewers to keep in mind is that the National Park Service offers passes, park passes, and I think it's eighty-five dollars, mm. but it's good for a year and it lets you into wow. any park in the country and they pay for themselves pretty quick. I think it's 30 bucks to get into the Grand Canyon and maybe yeah. 20 at Chiricahua. So it doesn't take long for that thing to pay, pay, pay for itself. itself. So something to keep in mind too. Well, tell them they don't look a day over 82. <laughs> <laughs> they look I'll let them know. For <laughs> Robert, thank you so much for thank popping you. in again. And if you want to see even more of Arizona's beauty, make sure to subscribe to Arizona Highways Magazine. Just call 1-800-543-5432 or log on to ArizonaHighways.com.